Good morning, brethren. Good morning. Um, Brother Michael's Bible class is Ephesians 5, 13. It says, But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. So I was going to take both pieces and go ahead and speak into those. And it's, The first part says that all things are reproved. Reprove means to convince of a fault, to blame, or to excite a sense of guilt. And so if you see, and it's a thing that is reproved. It's not a person or something else. It's a thing. So when you see a deed that is to be reproved and it is shown to be wrong or it is shown to be, or the guiltiness or the faultiness is shown of it. And all things that are reproved, I was considering not just some of them, all of them are made manifest by the light. There's no ungodly deed that is not going to be made, um, the, the left out of this reproof. But the point of the text is not the deeds themselves, but how they are made manifest or how they are made known. And the light is what points to, to the origin of the deed. All things, those are proved and those not, are made manifest by light. I considered how the evil things are seen to be evil by the contrast that is there, how they are, um, the light shows them what they truly are, but then also the good deeds are seen as good because of how they agree with the light and how they show the same nature as the light. Another text that I found that kind of, or that agrees well with this passage is John 3, verses 20 and 21. And it says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. So I like this because it does point to the fact that those who are doing evil deeds don't want to be found out. Because when the light shines, they are found out. And those who are doing truth or their deeds are made manifest, that they are wrought in God. So those who are doing good things... Their deeds are still made manifest, but they are found to be, the, the source is found to be in, in God rather than in, in Satan. So the next part of the text says, for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. And I was considering since the point of the text is light, then what, is, what does light do and what is its nature? Those are the two things that I really looked into. And I considered that only light can manifest things. Darkness cannot show anything. It can only disguise it. It can only obscure what is already there. I considered how... Darkness can't show something is dark because it's already incomprehensible. It cannot show the true nature of something because its nature is to hide, to disguise, and to deceive. And I was considering how if you're in a dark room, you can't say, oh, over there in that dark corner, there's, there's something dangerous because it's already dark. The darkness can't show you anything else that's in that dark room. It's, it's dark. Whereas light's nature is to clarify, to make manifest or make apparent, to illuminate and show the true nature of things, even the hidden things. And so that when the light shines into something, then you are able to see that which was already there, but was not apparent because of the darkness. Um, light pierces into the darkness and separates the darkness from itself, from light, and it shows forth what there is to see. It finds the truth of things, even the hidden things. And this is where I was considering the various kinds of light, where you have sunlight, you have indoor lighting, you have black lights, you have ultraviolet lights, you have different kinds of light that show different things. It's not that the things weren't there to begin with. It's just that they were not visible by the type of light that was being seen. And each type of light shows something. The sunlight shows you different things than the ultraviolet light would show you. But it's not that they're unable to be seen. It's just that they're hidden by that kind of light that is being shown. And I was considering if you're looking at a painting or a piece of money with regular sunlight, you can see a lot in that painting or that piece of money. But if you shine a different kind of light on it, you're able to see deeper into the painting where it tells you what kind of materials were used or the date of, that it was used. Or if, you know, on money, it can show you some of the things that are there that are imprinted into the money, but you can't see by your, your natural eye. So I was considering how this is also like the kingdom where, when, where the light that is shown, there are things that we can see immediately, but then the light also pierces and shows those hidden things that we are not able to see just with our natural eye as well, or even with a very a godly eye that is young or a godly eye that is immature. It's not able to see certain things, but when the light pierces, it's able to show those things that are hidden. So it's considering when a deed is committed, the light shines forth to show the, t to show the true nature of the deed, to show where its origin came from, whether it was from God or from Satan. And it shows not just the deeds, but the motives behind the deed, the repercussions of the deed, where the origin was and some other things that go along with that. And it also, and I considered how it shows the hidden things of God and, re and reveals them to be good and light. And it shows the hidden things of the world and reveals them to be darkness. 
and I considered how light's the only thing that can make manifest, whether it's something good or evil. So since light is sown for the righteous, let us walk in the light of the Lord and see what there is to see that he has for us to see and what he is willing and he is ready to show us. Amen. So I'll go ahead and say a prayer for Brother Michael before he brings his class. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for allowing us to have this day that we can come together and we can continue on in the subjects that you've given us to see into so far. I pray that you'll help us to be good ministers to Brother Michael and that he'll be able to be a good minister to us, that we'll be able to edify and encourage him as he edifies and encourages us with the things that he has to say. And I thank you for giving us the ability to look into this light so that we are able to see more and so we are able to, to become more like you by understanding the things that you have given to us to see. And it's just my prayer. Amen.